So, yeah. Austin, Texas, just thoughts on uh, heading down to Texas for the regional. We honestly didn't know where we were going to get sent. Um, I think Austin is a good regional for us. The golf course sets up well for us compared to what we've seen in the past. For the veterans, I guess, the past three years, the freshman, you can give him anything. He's going to play well. Um, but I think we're all very excited to be there and hopefully get the job done. Coach mentioned last night a couple of you guys have played there. Have you, have you played down there in Austin? I have. It's been four or five years since I've played it. I don't think they've done any renovations to it, so at least I'll have a familiar eye to it. What do you remember about that course and how it maybe sets up for your game? It's intimidating off the tee, and not only me, but the rest of our team, we drive it straight, which that takes out one part of the golf course that is not very intimidating to us anymore. I mean, we play out here every day, and <laughs> that's as intimidating as it gets. Um, the only difference really is that it's Bermuda grass and we're used to bent, but we play on Bermuda all year long, so it's not a not a big ordeal either. Just knowing you're the sixth seed, the thoughts on being the sixth seed, trying to make sure you're in the top five to head back home. I like being a sixth seed. I uh, can't complain. To be honest, I don't think we are a sixth seed. That's just the way the rankings are, and we had bad tournaments to put us there, of course, but. I honestly think we can play with the top six teams in the country. We can be a one seed, but I think coming in there as a six seed and hopefully getting out and into that top five will make a difference. How much does momentum matter in golf? And coming off of you know some momentum at the SECs, how much could that help you guys uh, when you head to Austin? Tremendous amount. Um, playing good golf is, I think it's more of a mind game than anything else. We've all had our slumps and bruises, but everybody now from what I've seen and from what Coach has seen is we're there, we're playing together, we're, everybody's playing well. So that, I think that's just a huge confidence boost moving in. It's here now, the pressure. It's been building, but now the pressure is here to make sure you're one of those top five. In the next two weeks, how do you guys approach making sure you don't put too much pressure on yourself and just kind of go out there and play a little loose and free and, and try to hope that that gets you back here? Honestly, try to try to stay away from the spotlight. I know earlier this semester when we were playing bad, everybody was talking, what are you all going to do? What, as of right now, you're not going to get there. You keep playing like this. I mean, we've heard it all. We've heard all the outside noise, and I think – the biggest thing is just to be able to tune it out. Yes, this place, we host the national championship, but we're not guaranteed it. And good golf goes a long way. And I think the way we're trending right now, we should be able to get it done. The bad play early in spring, I mean, was, was that just pressure after? Because you guys played well in the fall. So what, what do you think turned there in the spring? And then what have you been able to do to turn it kind of around here down the stretch? I honestly think it was more of a team thing. We were five of us play and to be honest that we almost I don't think we had three people or two people for that matter finish inside the top 30 for two or three tournaments and to be able to move forward and play good golf you can't have that and just like last week Julian finishing eighth I think we had another I think Mason was top 25 and the rest of that we just haven't had the two to three guys move up and play well in tournaments enough to keep us in there and that's, that's what happened early in the spring is we weren't, we weren't all playing well at the same time.